Howdy, good morning. We are out here on our second day of the San Rafael Swell Adventure. That is Spencer and I. Today we are just north of I-70. We are just south of Black Dragon Canyon. Definitely a very beautiful place. And we are working our way up the Swell, headed westbound. Here's a scene, I believe this is Spring Canyon right there, which is an amazing box canyon. And we are just to the south of it on this ridge because there is no escaping that canyon. So we're gonna be up here, we're gonna work our way up the swell, and then we're gonna traverse back left and enter another canyon where Spirit Arch, also known as Double Arch, are located for an exciting rappel we hope to do. It may be guarded by icy pools. <laughs> so we are somewhat concerned about that. I, I think we're gonna be able to pull it off even if it takes a little uh, extra pain in order to achieve our mission. Um, it's reported to have an incredible position lowering through the arch and into another super deep box canyon. So really looking forward to that. All right, I'm glad you could join the adventure. Hey, hit like and subscribe if you wanna keep on going and doing some more incredible stuff. And we'll see you a little bit deeper into the adventure zone. I think that Karen is saying we're going the right way. And that deep canyon is just behind the Karen. first little wash and then we kind of drop in right above Box Spring Canyon which is on the right into the second wash so Box Spring Canyon is right there and that's a big drop off Spencer and I are just cranking a steep slab and then we are going to crank a left right at the top of said slab and work our way to the adjacent canyon to the south which is the home of Spirit Arch or Double Arch if you will. I think it goes by both. This is what we're looking at. Spencer and I came down this barely a drainage and it was relatively difficult climbing. I think really the proper route is to the left or back kind of more up the swell and around. So west and then back around to the south it would probably be easier.
Oh, it's hard as shit. That wasn't bad. Oh, God. Spencer has decided to take the plunge. And this is bypassable on the left or the north side of this coolie oh, canyon. Actually... Now he's having second thoughts. <laughs> I don't blame him. Let's go around on the slab. Well, we have arrived at the arches. There's an incredible set of potholes that we just went around on the slab on Looker's right. And now we have arrived at the unavoidable pothole down below Spencer in that piece of webbing. You can just make out the green water deep in the hole there. And then right above are the arches. So amazing place, but very intimidating as far as going in the water. And it does look very difficult to escape the water if we had to retreat. All right, Spencer being the brave Scandinavian that he is, is working down in his skivvies to the pool of death. And I am greatly appreciative of him doing it because I am personally relatively terrified. Freezing cold water is definitely not a strength of mine. Holy mother of pearl. Please be shallow. Stay oh, yes! Oh, I'm so happy that you are so proud of you. Oh my God, he did it. Off to your right is a step. Way off to the right if you need it. Wow! Badass, dude. She's a half wrap though. See if I got it. Oh, yeah. My sack is like a walnut. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, the knot just started yanking me into the water. <laughs> uh, yeah, the weight really makes a difference, huh? Oh, it's good though, it's good. Holy wow. Really wow. of this lower arch we're going to pass right through. Here we come. Ooh. Here we 
are on the free hanging repel. It's pretty sweet. Straight down. Oh, yeah. And they're straight out. Spencer is pulling the rope for us right now, and everything is looking good. It's just heading on up to that upper anchor in that little natural bridge. So Spencer's going to finish it off. Bro! Wow. There she is. All right, we have just left Double Arch Canyon and are hiking on a well-defined trail back to the parking area. That was a super fun trip. Route finding is a little more complicated than Ryan Road Trip might have you believe, but it is a reasonable half day adventure if you're moving quickly and if you don't have to play around with worrying about freezing to death so much. Because um, that was a lot of extra effort to get totally undressed and you know, blah, blah, blah. So I would recommend it though. Beautiful place, beautiful repels, just epic splendor. Here is the trailhead proper. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then you'll be up with us for all our crazy adventures. Yeah, guys, have a good one. We'll see you on the next.